Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Robinson, and we're going to continue talking about our lessons. This time we're talking about rates and unit rate. So let's get started with the vocabulary that you need to know. First vocabulary word is ratio. Ratio is an ordered pair of non-negative numbers which are not which are not both zero. So they both can't be zero. Note the ratio is denoted by A colon B to indicate the order of the numbers. The number A is first and the number B is second. So that's your order. Rate. Rate compares two quantities with different units. For example, five miles per two hours. Unit rate is a rate with a denominator of one. That's very important to know, a denominator of one. For example, five miles per two hours. Well, that would be a rate, five miles per two hours. And we could write that as five over two, five miles over two hours, five miles per two hours. If we reduce that fraction five over two, that would give us 2.5 miles in one hour. So what we did was we took the five and divided it by two and got 2.5 miles on the top and one on the denominator. That would be the unit rate, one hour. Unit price, the unit price And let me go back, I messed up. The unit price is the price of one item or one unit of measure. So here's typically what we see in the stores, a price of an item. That price is the price of one unit, called the unit price. How to find the unit price? Divide the total cost by the number of items. When the given weight when you're given a weight or a capacity, divide the total cost by the number of units or weights or capacity. So let's try an example. Which do you think is the better buy? Is it A, Campbell's condensed chicken noodle soup for 14 ounces at $2.40? Or is it B, Cannibal's cream of earl soup? Cream of earl soup, Cannibal? Hmm. Wonder what that tastes like. Well, 12 ounces at $2.15. So which do you think is a better buy? Well, both cans look about the same size. The prices are pretty similar. Can A is a little bit bigger, and the, so is the price. Can B is a little smaller, and so is the price. So what we really need to do is to figure out what would be the unit price of the soup. So how much would one ounce be? So if we took $2.40 and divided it by 14 ounces, that would give us 0 0.1714, which is one ounce is about 17 cents. So let's see how much one ounce of Primavera soup is. So we're going to take $2.15 and divide that by 12 ounces, and that gives us 0 0.1791. Now I notice these decimals are pretty close, so I'm going to round this off because it's 17.9. I go up one, make that 18 cents, so one ounce would be 18 cents. Now I have to decide which would be the better buy. Well, if the, if the soups are prepared pretty much the same, I'm, I would just compare the unit rate, the one ounce of soup. One ounce of soup is 17 cents, and one ounce of canned B is 18 cents. Well, which would be a better buy for me if they're all equal in value? 
and tastes the same, I would say uh, for one ounce, it's 17 cents. Can choice A would be the winner. So A would be our winner because for one ounce, it'd be 17 cents, where B is 18 cents for one ounce. So you're getting a better buy at 17 cents per one ounce. So A is the answer. Let's look at another question. Oh, by the way, not drawing the scale means don't let the picture fool you. They purposely made this a little smaller, even though it is smaller in size, but sometimes the picture could be misleading. So not drawn to scale. Here's Andre. He types two thirds of a page in one third hour. What is the unit rate? Well, first we have to find out what the rate is. Well, rate. Rate is when you are comparing two numbers or two things together. So we're comparing what? Pages to the hours. So we compare pages to the hour. So we can compare Andre's two thirds of a page to one third of hour. So we can make it a fraction. He types two thirds of a page to one hour. So our top would be two thirds on our numerator and our denominator would be one third. We have fractions on top of fractions. Those are called complex fractions. So when you see a complex fraction like two thirds over one third, that just means take two thirds and divide it by one third. And hopefully you remember dividing fractions, you multiply by the reciprocal of the second number. That's reciprocal means turning a fraction upside down. So two thirds times three over one, not one third, because we turned it upside down and we changed division to multiplication. And so let's multiply our top numbers. Two times three gave us six. And three times one gave us three. So we have six over three, which equals two over one. And remember, when you have one on the denominator, that indicates you have a unit rate. So you have two over one is the unit rate. Well, two is what did we say on the numerator? Pages. And one is hours. So we have two pages per hour. So that would be the unit rate. So check your understanding, see if you need to review the video again, rewind it if you have to, bring in your questions tomorrow because that's where we're going to start from. So here are a couple questions you may want to take a look at in your spare time. Make sure you figure it out because you know I'm going to be asking. Here's another question that you can work on. So I hope you got something out of it. It was a good lesson. So if you need to, again, rewatch the video. And bring your questions in. I'll be glad to answer them. So this is Dr. Robinson, and I will see you on our next class. Bye-bye.